Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we will use the continuity equation to solve for the density distribution of a gas flow through a nozzle. I hope you find it useful. Here is the problem statement. The flow through the nozzle is treated as quasi one-dimensional. Our goal is to determine an expression for density as a function of x and to find the location where the density has decreased by 25% from its initial value. The velocity as a function of x is provided along with the density at the inlet of the nozzle. Shown is the nozzle. Its length is denoted with capital L, x equals zero is defined at the inlet of the nozzle. The quasi one dimensional flow as a function of x is provided along with the inlet density. The velocity is increasing with x as expected for a converging nozzle. In gas dynamics with compressible flow, we learn that this is only true if the flow is subsonic. Pictured is what is meant by quasi one dimensional flow. The flow only varies with x. Since this is a nozzle, the velocity will change with the radial location. So a quasi one dimensional flow description is a simplified view. In reality, the problem could have been cast in terms of average velocity eliminating the need for this simplified approach. The continuity equation and Cartesian coordinates will be used. The only component of velocity is in the x direction, so we can eliminate the second and third terms on the left-hand side of the equation. This is shown here. After the simplification, it is clear that the derivative of the x component of mass flux, which is density times velocity, with respect to x, is zero. Therefore, the x component of mass flux is constant. At x equals zero, we know both the x component of velocity, denoted as u naught, and the density, which is given as rho naught. The quantity rho naught times u naught is constant throughout the nozzle, setting the product of the density times the velocity equal to this constant allows us to solve for the density as a function of x. Next, we want to find the location where the density has decreased by 25% from its initial value. The solution is obtained with some simple algebra. We set the density equal to 0.75 times the initial density rho naught and solve for the corresponding location. That location is one-third the length of the nozzle. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.